Besides carjackings and overall player freedom, music is a huge part of Grand Theft Auto. Ever since the first game, we've been treated to a lot of really good music over the years in this franchise through the medium of fictional in-game radio stations. It started off a little bit more low budget than what we're used to now. Back then, the developers had to use their connections with BMG to record songs in-house, but they clearly made sure that every track was fun to listen to. This practice continued into GTA 2, and by GTA 3, they could afford to license some real tracks, as well as coming up with more fictional stuff for Lips 106 and Head Radio. Then Vice City really turned things up to 11 with an amazingly expansive and undoubtedly expensive soundtrack. Almost the entire soundtrack featured real and famous songs by real artists, all of which dating back to at least 1986. It was period authentic, and it sounded amazing. San Andreas and every other game following it continued with this. Even Liberty City Stories, which brought back the in-house music on Head Radio and Lips 106, still had a few famous late 90s tracks on its in-game radio playlist. It even has the distinction of being the only GTA with DMX on its soundtrack. So understandably, a good radio soundtrack is something we've come to expect out of these games, and it's very unlikely that Rockstar will forego this in favor of Kevin McLeod's stock music like Saints Row did with at least two radio stations in the reboot. But what songs do you think they're actually going to feature in Grand Theft Auto 6? From what the leaked footage showed us, almost all of the music that could be heard was already in GTA 5. These are obviously just placeholders. Radio content is most likely worked on last when they're making Grand Theft Auto, and it seems like they usually wait until development is much closer to wrapping up before they start to do more work on that particular element. But there is one song that was heard in the leaks that wasn't a part of any GTA soundtrack, and that would be Smoke on the Water by Deep Purple. But whether or not this song will actually appear in the final game or not is anyone's guess. Back in 2007, a French magazine preview of GTA 4 mentioned that there were at least three Rolling Stones songs on the radio, but there's no Rolling Stones songs to be found anywhere on the soundtrack, and only one was found as a leftover among the other cut songs. And a magazine preview for GTA 5 mentioned that Radar Love by Golden Earring was on the soundtrack, but that turned out to not be the case when the game came out. A leaked build of GTA 5 contained even more songs that we never knew were in the game at one point, since like with the multiple Rolling Stone songs in GTA 4's earlier build, there weren't even any leftovers in the files that indicated what songs they previously had in the game. Smoke on the Water is the only song we know of that might be in GTA 6, and I say might because remember, there's a good chance it could just end up being a placeholder anyway, or they'll cut it because they can't secure the licensing, or maybe they'll just decide it's not a good fit for the game. Now I'm just going to start listing off seemingly random old songs. But a few of these will be going by what they've historically done with soundtracks in the past. There's a strong chance that the soundtrack will feature music from Phil Collins and Daryl Hall and John Oates. As you know, Phil Collins made an appearance in Vice City Stories as himself, and they had three of his songs on the soundtrack. GTA 4 featured Mama by Genesis when Phil Collins was their frontman, and GTA 5 featured I Don't Care Anymore from his solo career. From what we know, they also really liked working with him. Therefore, we're probably going to see at least one song featuring him, whether it's from his days in Genesis or his solo career. Every major GTA since Vice City Stories featured him in some way. If it's a Genesis Phil Collins song, Land of Confusion might work. Or That's All. Although Home by the Sea might be a unique one to feature, and it would definitely be my choice if I were responsible for deciding the soundtrack. Home by the Sea is from a time when they were transitioning from progressive rock to the more fast-paced 80s pop rock. It's kind of like a blend of both. Plus, this is going to be a video game where we're playing as a team of robbers, and the song is about a guy who's robbing a house until he finds out he picked the wrong house because it's haunted, and the ghosts keep him there for the rest of his life. It's kind of a dark song now that I think about it, but it's good. And that's just for Genesis. If they were to do a solo Phil Collins song, for me, I think it would have to be Take Me Home. It kind of sounds like it would have fit in GTA Vice City. It has a really nostalgic feel to it, and I think it would fit really well on a classic pop radio station in the game. So would a song by Hall & Oates. Rockstar never directly worked with them, but Vice City, Vice City Stories, GTA 4, and GTA 5 each had one song of theirs. And if GTA 6 is going to have a song of theirs on the radio, I'd hope it's one of the two songs of theirs that I like the most. I Can't Go For That, or One On One. They're both slower paced songs, but I think they're the best ones they've done, and they might both fit on a radio station like Emotion 98.3. Hell, they could even have both of them. 
I mean, Vice City Stories had three Phil Collins songs, and GTA V had two songs by Bob Seger for some reason, and also four featuring Snoop Dogg, so they can have multiple songs by the same artist. On that note, though, I wonder if they'll bring back any of the radio stations from Vice City. GTA V brought back Radio Los Santos and WCTR from San Andreas. If Emotion did come back, besides those two Hall & Oates songs, they could have Black Coffee in Bed by Squeeze or Dance With Life by Brian Ferry. I guess any 80s and 90s love songs would work. None of it would really fit with the violent nature of the games, but it would be one of those novelty radio stations, I guess. Like with GTA V, I could see there being a couple of rock stations. There will probably be a modern indie rock station like Radio Broker and Radio Mirror Park. Instead, it'll be Radio Insert Name of Hipster Neighborhood Here. V-Rock can come back and be dedicated to playing classic hard rock and hair metal, and there could be a 70s and 80s yacht rock station as well. Look, if they don't bring back Flash FM, then those Phil Collins songs are gonna need somewhere to go. Same with something like The Tide is High by Blondie, or any old songs that are kinda cheesy that sound like they would fit in a tropical environment. Steal Away by Robbie Dupree could be another choice. The reason I bring that one up specifically is because it was actually supposed to be in GTA V, and it was meant to appear on Los Santos Rock Radio. Listening to it now, though, I think it would suit Vice City really well. So I'm glad it was cut from GTA V because now it's a chance to hear it in GTA VI. Oh yeah, and remember that early PS3 build of GTA V that I mentioned earlier? The one that had a bunch of songs that weren't in the final game and that weren't even left over in the files either? Well, that one had a really interesting song choice. Let's Get Physical by Olivia Newton-John was one of those heard in that early build. Apparently, it was playing on Los Santos Rock Radio. Now, first, I find it utterly hilarious that it was going to be on a radio station whose branding makes it look like a hard rock station. And second, I could still see it winding up in GTA 6, maybe if they bring back Flash FM. Whether it's old pop or new pop, pop music is definitely going to be making a return, too. Although, like with the rock stations and rap stations featured in previous games, it would be nice to have a little more distinction between the modern and classic stuff and keep them on separate radio stations. Maybe there could be a modern-day top 40 hit station that could have stuff like Blinding Lights by the weekend. And then there could be a general 80s, 90s, and 2000s pop classic station featuring famous pop hits from those decades. They could even bring back Flash FM for that. Oh yeah, and one more radio station I want to see that GTA V sorely missed out on is a 90s and 2000s alternative rock station. PMR was going to serve this purpose, and it was going to feature Faith No More, Oasis, Stereophonics, and others, but it got cut in favor of Vinewood Boulevard Radio. Basically, I guess I just want them to bring back Radio X. And From Out of Nowhere by Faith No More would be my choice of song to go on there. I think there should also be a radio station for classic hip-hop and electro. Something like Wild Style or Fresh 105. Like with every GTA, we're bound to hear a ton of music across a variety of genres. I think we're sure to see at least one radio station dedicated to music from Cuba, either a variety of genres or maybe a specific one. We're also bound to get classic rock, modern rock, modern rap and hip-hop, and due to the popularity of non-stop pop in GTA 5, modern pop music is likely to make a return. But what else would you like to see? Any specific songs you feel would suit the game? Any type of radio station you want in it? Are there any stations you want to see return from GTA Vice City? Or would you rather see something different? Let me know in the comments, and thank you for watching.